All right guys, so today I'm gonna to try the return to home feature with both the low battery condition and the critical low battery condition and see exactly what happens. Okay, here we go. Now what I'm going to do is I am actually going to go into an intelligent flight mode. So I'm actually going to do point of interest. Okay, I'm going to record the point of interest. Fly back. And apply. And then what I'm going to do is actually go in to the battery settings and I'm going to adjust the battery settings. Right now I'm at 43% and so I'm going to go into the battery settings and I'm going to change this to 40 and the critical battery to 35. Okay and then might need to fast forward here so we could speed it up. I am at 41% right now. So let's see here. I'm going to go ahead and go to the battery settings again. And it's still set up 40 for low battery and 35% for critical low battery. There we go. So there I've got the warning for 40%. And I'm just going to let it fly. And probably this is the point where I'll need to fast forward so that we don't have to wait till it gets to the critical battery percentage. But right now it's still keeping its intelligent flight mode. It's at 39% and it's just going around in a cir circle based on the point of interest mode. All right, so we're at 37%. This beeping is going to drive me crazy, so I may very well speed up the video for you guys so you don't have to wait for it to actually reach the critical low battery point. Okay, I'm at 37%. And let me check the settings again for the battery. And you can see the critical low battery warning is set at 35%. So I'm assuming once it reaches the 35% level, it's going to commit to an automatic return to home and so we'll just see how that goes down all right okay i just hit the critical low battery warning and it's beeping like crazy here the mavic is still keeping in the intelligent flight mode it's still going around in a circle So that is really interesting. Okay. I was really expecting it to execute a return to home at this point, but it is not. But on the gauge at the top of the screen, you could see there's five minutes and 17 seconds left on the battery. And you can see the little H marker, which I believe is the point where the time meets that point, then in fact it'll actually execute the return home function. So I guess I gotta wait out a little bit longer here. Again, I might fast forward at some point here so you guys don't have to wait till it actually reaches that point. And I'm not actually sure I wanna wait till it hits the critical point, the very critical point where it's gonna execute a return to home. But uh, we'll see here. Right now it's saying I've got 4 minutes and 32 seconds. And this beeping's driving me crazy here. But uh, just hang on here and see what happens here.
course, my phone battery is starting to die here. I'm at 10%, so I don't know which one's gonna, which is gonna happen. My phone's gonna die, or the Mavic's going to execute the return to home. Okay, now you can see on the screen I'm at 2 minutes and 22 seconds and the icon for the time is actually overlaid over that yellow yellow marker there that had H on it. So, again, hopefully it's going to execute the return to home soon. 2 minutes. <laughs> Nineteen percent battery. A little scary here because I've never done this before. There we go. Aircraft will return home. Four seconds. There we go. <laughs> All right. I'm glad <laughs> it's returning home because I don't really feel comfortable when I'm at 16% battery, but it is above me now, and it is right over the home point, executing the turn before it starts descending, and it's descending now. Ten feet. Okay, so now it's telling me it's not suitable for landing. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to have to manually land the Mavic. So I'm going to throttle down. Whoa, okay. That was a little crazy, a little noisy, but work just like you'd want it to. All right, so I hope you guys found that helpful. Uh, a little scary for me, but uh, wouldn't recommend doing this on your own here, but uh, uh, work just as you'd want it to. So hopefully you guys find this helpful. Uh, if you uh, like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe. Got a lot more videos I'm going to be making. Hopefully not ones where it's a little bit sketchy as far as getting the Mavic back in one piece here, but thanks for watching. Bye.